Hi, how are you today? I'm going to be doing a set of triangular geo coasters. I will be using some of these little resin hearts that I made with leftover resin that I poured into little candy molds. This is a little trick that I learned from uh, my friend Lisa Wyatt. She has really great ideas um, and I'll link her channel so that you can go check her out. She has some pretty amazing artwork. So I just uh, put a little bit of resin, clear resin down at the bottom of the coast or, or bottom of the mold and l tried to let it set up a little bit so that when I put the hearts in and start pouring the rest of the resin they don't move around. They do end up moving a little bit but it's not a huge deal. You'll see that later. So just getting them placed in there. The colors that I will be using are this beautiful pink color from Crystal Resin. I was going to use this lollipop color from Just Paint, but I do end up changing my mind. It's also a pretty pink. And then Wild Plum from Ranger Ink. It's an alcohol ink. So there is the Crystal Resin pink. This pink is just, I'm gaga over this pink. It is so chromey. But I ended up going with Just Paint Sparkle White instead of the Lollipop. Um, and then also the Wild Palm Alcohol Ink. The Sparkle White is a larger mica, so it looks like a fine glitter. And I wanted, I decided I needed a little bit of contrast in there, so that's why I um, nixed the lollipop and decided to go with the white instead. But check out this pink. Ugh, I just, I can't get over how beautiful this pink is. It is so chromey and shiny and just wonderful. And when I put the ink down next to it, look what it does. It just, oh. I just, I can't, I don't know what to say about this pink. It's so beautiful. So I'm just uh, going around in circles with the resin, adding more bits as I go and leaving a small amount of space at the top of my coaster. Because as you know, I like to go back later and add a clear top coat to the top of the of the coasters. So what I end up doing is going back in with uh, a coffee stick and swirling around the edges just to kind of get a little bit of you know feathering effect or wispy effect of the pink into the white and as I pour clear resin into the center here you'll see that my my hearts kind of float away a little bit no big deal. I go back in and using a little coffee stick, I just shimmy them back into place. And they end up staying there, which is good. They don't float away after that. So when I did this initial pour, the resin didn't completely cover these little hearts. So when I went back with my clear coat, they got um, they were covered completely a little more than I anticipated, which you'll see later on. I'm actually going to show you some errors that I make um, when I'm making these coasters and how I end up fixing them. <clears throat> that pink is just, just amazing. So yeah, here's where I go with the stick and just kind of make some swirling patterns just to blend that edge a little bit. And I don't go all the way to the bottom of the mold. I'm doing this just strictly on the surface of the resin. I'm not pressing, pressing hard into it at all. 
and I go back a few times and hit it with the heat gun just to pop any bubbles that rise to the surface. Yeah, super pretty. And they get tucked in for the night. So the next day, or I had gone and done a, a top coat and I was doing several things at once and I was multitasking and I put way too much clear resin on the top of these coasters. I'd already actually demolded them before this, so here I'm just I'm doing this for the video purposes to show you when I I had to like break this these molds apart because or these coasters apart because they were fused together. The clear had ran over the border edges and I had like one huge coaster going but it was soft enough still that I was able to bend the resin and break it. But here I just grab some nippers and I have to go along and cut all these big chunks of resin that had overflown from the mold. Not a huge deal. The nippers cut right through. I put safety glasses on because sometimes the, you know, when you're cutting this, the, the resin goes flying in all directions, but it, it um, just made a little bit of extra work for me. Not not a huge deal. It's not the end of the world. I just um, need to go back and do some extra editing. I usually do several things at once, several projects in my resin room. And at this point, I I was doing way too much stuff and wasn't paying close enough attention. Anyways, you get the gist of that. Now I go outside with my power Dremel and I take my Dremel along the edge of those coasters to file down any sharp edges that are left over from either just the way the resin settled into the coaster or of course in this case where the resin had overflown the edges of the, of the mold and I had to cut it with the nippers. So I have to get pretty aggressive with my Dremel here and press pretty hard to get some of that extra resin off. I use my gloved finger along the edge um, just to feel if there's any rough edges and any sharp edges, even little tiny air bubbles, will catch on my glove and I'll know that there's a sharp spot there and I can just sand it out with my, my Dremel. I do this outside because of the dust And then I take them, I wipe them down, I take them back in. Now, in order to get rid of that dull white look that happens when you're using a sander or a Dremel, I use a little bit of Minwax Polycrylic and a fine paintbrush. And I just lightly, I'm sorry, it's out of, it's really <laughs> out of frame here. I have a new tripod, so I'm, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, where my camera is. Um, but I just take just the l slightest amount of polycrylic on my paintbrush and just lightly brush it against the coaster where those dull areas are. And it, like you can see right there, it just shines it right up again. So that's how I took care of that problem. You can't tell that there was any issue with them at all in the end. Everything's been... Um, sanded down, smoothed out, shined back up again, and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I hope you like them too. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Take care. Bye.